did you see that? Oh, that was so gross. Whoever's the lucky winner of this box is might get a little noodle sneeze. These are thick. You should fire me, you should let me go. Oh my God, we'll put the, okay. Oh my God, we, we'll, we won't do the candles just now. Are these better, are these better? Oh my God, these are better, okay. Woo. Wow, that was profound and I took that away from a gel pen. I'm not even an artist. Thank you for facing the correct direction, sir. Hi everyone, thank you so much for watching this week's episode of Tools of the Trade. My name is Jonathan, this is Noodle, and this week we are going to be unboxing the Thea Monnier box. So for those of you who don't know, Tools of the Trade is a show where we ask everyday entrepreneurs, what are the items that you need to get through your day? Hard work, sure, oh my God, you just started your own business. What about candles? What about Tic Tacs? Thea Monnier is an artist and therapist who has worked on tons of different projects throughout her career. She has had appearances on HBO, BET, she's led performances at the Ford Amphitheater in Los Angeles, she tours colleges, she's the co-host of Dem Black Mama's podcast, she uh, works with at-risk youth, and I just, I think this woman has kind of done everything. She really serves her community. And if you watch one of her videos that's on our page, we have a long uh, a video that we, we did with her uh, and her business on our social channels. And it's absolutely fantastic. This woman is so inspiring. So we're so excited that she got to curate a box for us. And let's see what's inside. Bam. Wow. Can't believe it. The first item we have in the Thea Monnier box is wireless headphones. Whether you listen to music, or you listen to podcasts, or you like to listen to the news, or you like to listen to Thea's podcast, it's always great to have a pair of headphones on you. And I can imagine that Thea, especially someone like her who's so busy, she's always running around all day, she's gotta record a podcast, then she's gonna go give a talk, then she's gotta go be a friend, or whatever she has planned. She's about town, she's gotta have her wireless headphones. Are you cleaning your flaps? Oh, did you see that? Oh, that was so gross. Whoever is the lucky winner of this box is gonna, this might get a little noodle sneeze. The next item is the Merriam-Webster's Dictionary and Thesaurus. If you listen to Thea's podcast or even listen to one of the, the talks she's given at one of her college campuses, she is fantastic with words. She's a really wonderful writer and speaker. If you're a writer and you get to the point where you're stuck, you find yourself repeating a word, or if you're writing a business plan, or if you're trying to write a proposal to someone, or even you're trying to send an email to your dad and be like, listen, I really want to launch this business. I need $8 million from you. Finding the right words is gonna be key for them. So this was a great addition. Everyone should have one of these. Bootylicious is in here, which I just always have to throw out there that that is a word and it's brilliant. Okay, the next items we have in here are, ooh, it's a little book, The Writer's Life, Insights from the Right to Right, which is brilliant. Julia Cameron, whoever you are, that was hilarious. She revealed that writing is in fact a natural and crucial part of life. Hmm. It's great when you hear from people who are wildly accomplished and are very successful and they still say things like, listen, I, I, of course I have writer's block. Of course I deal with this. Of course I, you know, I don't always know the right thing to say. I don't always know the right word. And how amazing that you're able to surround yourself with tools like this that will give you a one page burst of inspiration whenever you need it. I wish they had one that was just called the, you know, the flop human's life. And it was one I could reference um, as a flop of a human. Right? So I could open this and I'd be like, oh, I woke up, you know, worried about my crippling debt that I'll never see myself out of until I'm projected to be 43 years old. And it'll just open it, it'll say something like, yup. Okay, the next thing we have in the Thea Monnier box is, this is David's Tea Pura Vida Green Tea. And this is just a wonderful loose leaf tea for anyone who is a tea drinker. Fabulous. I know a lot of people drink tea to calm down, they drink tea because it's soothing, or they just drink tea because it's part of their daily ritual, right? They either have a cup of coffee in the morning, they have tea, they have a good cry, whatever it needs to be. Noodle actually is um, a tea drinker. Noodle likes an oolong. Isn't that right, Noodle? Yes. Okay, okay, the next item we have in here is, are these, 
Are these incense sticks? These are thick. They've got a sandalwood. Oh, oh. These are boxes. I should you, should, you should fire me, you should let me go. I thought this was just like a massive, huge incense, girthy stick. But they're, they're just a bunch of canisters for smaller incenses. Noodle, noodle, he won't even look at me. He's so disgusted with what I've done. Watch this. I'm gonna read him a piece of motivation and I just wanna see if it works with him. Okay, Noodle. The trick of finding writing time is to make writing time in the life you've already got. That's... Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, he goes, now! Oh my God. The next item we've got in this box is two large white candles. Oh my God, we'll put the, okay. We, oh my God, we, we'll, we won't do the candles just now. We won't do the candles just now, Noodle. Are these better? Are these better? Oh my God, oh my God, these are better, okay. Woo. Okay, so the next thing we've got in here are, ooh, gel ink pens and Sharpie highlighters. Value and utility of a highlighter is unending, right? There's you, there's there's so much you could highlight. It's it's it truly is uh, it's fathomless. Thea has confessed to us that she is an office supply junkie, which I think is a brave admission. Thank you for saying that out loud, Thea. You are in good company here. She just said that she likes to be surrounded by an unending amount of stuff that she can use to create, to write, to draw, to stencil. It's not just an artist likes to have her tools around her. It's an artist or a business person or a podcast host needs to be completely enmeshed in an environment that will stimulate the kind of creativity they, they want to put out. But how incredible to know that you can go into a space and you don't have to even consider what you can't accomplish, right? I think that's really cool. Wow, that was profound and I took that away from a gel pen. I'm not even an artist. The final item. Oh my God, I'm actually horrified to take these out again because they're the candles. And we know what happened last time when I took the candles out. So we're just gonna do this quietly. So new the next item are these two beautiful white candles. Oh good, I don't think he even saw them. So I think there's a couple reasons why one would have these in their home. Ambiance, disaster, loves candles. So the candle invites her ancestors and spirit guides into her creative workspace. Could you imagine where she's surrounded by all of her millions of pens and she lit a candle and she truly created this place where she not only feels like that she's able to thrive creatively because of the tools that she has, but because she's actually set up the environment where she's literally invited her spirit guides in with her to help make sure that she's able to create without having to hold herself back. I think there's something really brilliant about anyone who is willing to embrace that and to take the steps to make sure that they feel that they have created an environment where they can do those things. I am so thrilled with this box and I think there's um, a lot to be said about Thea in here and about the way that she is not only thoughtful to others, but she's thoughtful to herself. And she's thoughtful about bettering herself and making sure that she stays, you know, stays on top of things when she gets down. But she's also able to, to sort of acknowledge that she does have these moments where she needs to be reminded of what's inspiring her and why, she, you know, why she got out of bed this morning. I absolutely loved all the items in this box. I hope you did too. And if you liked this video, please like, subscribe, and ring the bell for our YouTube channel so you can get notifications every time a new Tools of the Trade comes out. So, for Noodle, for myself, Thank you so much for watching this week's episode and we cannot wait to see you next week. Thank you so much for watching. Please make sure to subscribe on YouTube if you did like watching this video and be sure to tune in next time.